Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing iPad OS 16 on the iPad Pro 11 inch here. We're going to talk about our experience of downloading uh, the 16 version of it, the performance, the battery life, and any bugs and issues we notice. And finally, going to give our opinion if iPad OS 16 is worth it or not for your iPad Pro. So let's dive into it. So first thing first, if you didn't know, Apple just released this uh, almost a month later since iOS 16 was released back last month. So now if you go into settings, general soft, look for software update here, you'll notice iOS 16.1 is available for you to go ahead and download on the uh, iPad, all of the Pro model lineup you have. So the experience of downloading it, so it's about, if you look into it, we took a picture here, it's about under 3 gigs, so give or take, you probably need about 5 gigs available on your iPad to download it. And once you go ahead and download it, it takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to fully download and install. And once you have it, you're ready to go. As you can see here, some new features come with iOS 16, which if you take a look at it, are going to be similar to the iPhone lineup. Things like being able to edit text messages, so if you're able to send message, to someone and then now if you look into the edit option you can actually edit a message so you can just edit a message that you just sent as you can see here we're allowed to just send that hit that okay along with that we can also go ahead undo send again that's a neat feature which also is available on the email as well and then the next thing you can do is also reply later so if you click on that icon which was a missing feature you'll notice that notification pops up so it's a reminder that you can come back and later to do it the next feature you'll probably be interested in is being able to now remove background of images so I have a picture of a cool car here let's go ahead and take the car out from this so we'll move that up and let's go into our messages app here Hopefully you can open this up and then uh, let's send this over here and hit the send button. As simple as that, now we just remove the background of an image. How cool is that? Other thing you'll probably notice is focus mode update. There's been some updates around focus mode. Of course, this was a feature in the last previous update, but you'll be able to do a lot more with being able to uh, add custom focus as well along with the privacy settings which you can also take a look at now privacy has become privacy and security because Apple's looking to just improve their whole privacy experience like they do and added more features for uh, better uh, privacy and our security of course along with that is going to be password management and the ability to do what's known as passkey authorization which we've seen in the iphone lineup as well and of course there's been updates to the notification itself minor updates there and other things you'll probably notice minor details on the ipad is now ability to see more details when it comes to things like the weather app so if you open up weather here we'll see here a lot more detail that you can get in depth you can click on the zone you know get more in-depth forecast over 12 hours and other details as well which you can add and take a look at without us going too much into the details so and now let's really talk about uh, the performance so far on it so we start to test out some of the apps so far here which again the popular apps seem to work fine without any issues things like just simple browsing around uh, that itself you know you're not going to have any issues multitasking as well has been working as expected so far we haven't noticed any issues there is the ability to now multitask much faster uh, than before in the previous versions that we have seen and that's kind of where it comes with the performance especially with this iPad because it's such a newer iPad with most of the hardware already ready to go you really aren't going to have too much issues when it comes to utilizing and taking advantage of the features and the performance and talking about the battery life how's the battery life been all well, the ipads are known to have really good batteries so this ipad for example gives about 10 hours of battery life and so far from our initial uses of this one we haven't noticed uh, any degradation or any battery decreased life so you still get about 10 hours or so depending on how much things you're due but expect probably somewhere between seven to eight hours if you're on the uh, heavier medium to heavy side user and let's last talk about bugs so far so in terms of bug initially when you downloaded it, it seemed like iPad was a little bit slow but after we did a restart 
and uh, started to open up all the apps. It seems so far it's been good. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary that would kind of say, all right, this isn't working out yet. So it's been good so far. And uh, go ahead. Uh, for us, we would say, you know, if you're looking to take advantage of it because of the 16.1, most of the bugs and minor issues has been resolved by Apple so far. That's why we are able to have that ex seamless experience, which I guess when they released it on the iPhone, they were able to address that. But with any software, there could be bug that you discover as more people are using it. But our initial thought is iOS uh, 16 or iPad 16, so far the updates has worked like it's supposed to on the Pro version of the iPad and we want to hear from you guys if you guys updated to the version 16 how has it been have you had any issues leave a comment in the comment section so we can all share the experience and while you're at it if this video was anyway helpful for you guys really appreciate you guys hitting that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time